Hello guys, we are reaching the end of this word processor project and that's pretty cool, but we've still got a tiny bit more to do. We've got to implement the saving feature. Um, so obviously saving pretty much means you save all the text to a file so you can access it later. No, we will not be saving to a .txt file because .txt does not support color and font. We are, however, going to be exporting to a .rtf file, which stands for Rich Text Format. Now, there are plenty of separate word processors that can, op processors that can open RTF. I believe Google Drive can open it, um, Microsoft Word can definitely open it, um, and if you're on a Mac, you know, there's plenty of ways to open it. It's the default um, text file on Mac OS X. So, that's what we're going to be using. Um, and the cool thing about Java is that it actually provides a ton of built-in uh, classes to export to RTF, so it'll be pretty easy to do so. So without a further ado, let's get started. So first I'm going to create a string, and we're going to name that formatted text. So let me explain what this will do. What it's going to do is it's going to grab all of the text from our JText pane. It's going to open a J file chooser. It's going to select the file we want, it's going to select the location we want to save to. Then once it's done that, it's going to save in a rich text format file. And that's literally it. So let's get started. So once we've done our string, let's create a method. Let's do public void save. And let's add the parameter, I mean, argument j text pane. And let's name this jpex pane text. So it's going to ask us to import, and let's import, okay. And let's add an if statement. So let's do if text.getText.length is greater than zero. So what this will do is it will take the JText pane and it will check if the text inside of it is um, greater than zero. So that pretty much means if it's not empty. So then after that, let's create a J file chooser. And let's name this chooser. And then let's set it equal to a new J file chooser. Okay, and it doesn't uh, accept any arguments, so that can be empty. And then it's going to ask us to import. So let's import. And then after that, we're going to set something called multi selection enabled. So what we do is we type chooser dot set multi selection enabled and set that to true so if we hover over this it literally means that it allows us to um, select multiple files at once I mean oh sorry we're gonna set this to false because we only want to select one file oops um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to use something a file name extension filter so I'll explain this in a second so let's type file name extension filter let's name it filter equals new file name extension filter and then it accepts three arguments so the first argument is rich not rick <laughs> rich text format the second argument is oops how did that even happen the second argument is RTF, oops, in lowercase. And the third argument is RTF also. So it's going to return an error because we haven't imported it, so let's import it. Okay, so what this does is it will um, literally filter out um, specific file name extensions. So when we're using our J file chooser, we only want certain files to appear. We only want rich text format files to appear. So it's going to say rich text format. I, um, this is what it will say. This is the type of file we want. And this is the type of file we want. I don't remember that last argument. So that's all we need to do. Just remember that it filters out the certain um, files we can use. So let's set our chooser, which is our J file chooser. Let's set the file filter equal to the filter we just created. 
So that means the J file chooser will only filter out a certain type of file. Then let's create an integer. Let's name it option. And let's set it equal to chooser, not chaucer, chooser dot show save dialog. And we'll put in null as an argument. So what this means is that, well, what we're doing is we're creating an integer, of course. We're naming an option, and we're setting it equal to chooser.showSaveDialog. So what that means is once this is run, a dialog box will show up, and this dialog box is the J file chooser. And the reason we put in null is because this is where we want to display the show save dialog. So if if I made the show save dialog, um, if I put in the argument like our main um, window, it would it would put the sh save dialog right over the window. But since I put in null, it will just put it in the center of the screen. It doesn't matter where it's placed. So n it doesn't really matter what this means. So you can literally just ignore it. But if you wanted a little explanation, there you go. Anyway, continuing on, let's create a string name it file path and let's set it equal to chooser not chaucer come on chooser dot um, get selected file dot get path so this will get the path of our selected file that's honestly all it means okay and then we're going to create an if statement so if and we're going to do this if not so if our chooser um, dot get selected file this is going to be long by the way get selected file dot get path dot to lowercase dot ends with oops dot ends with a suffix of rt of dot rtf then we're going to do this so what this honestly means, I know this is a bunch of garbage, what it looks like, but all it really means is if the file path um, of our chooser does not end with .rtf, um, then you're going to do whatever is in here. So what we want to do in here is we want to do file path equals chooser.get selected file dot get path not get parent get path and then plus dot rtf so the reason we're doing this is because sometimes the user might make a mistake and um, select a location that doesn't end with rtf or select a file that doesn't end with rtf and we want to say to them hey um, you can't do that, but whatever, we'll fix it for you. We'll just add .rtf for you. So that's honestly all it means. And this video is getting long, so I'm going to cut it here. And at the end, we will finish this. We don't have very much longer. So get excited for that, and I will see you in the next one. Good.